Good morning, Dr. Wilson. I'd like to take just a couple of minutes to give you some very important highlights that I think that you will be celebrating um, regarding lesson study in Denton ISD. Um, first of all, the Ryan Zone and its leaders, including Dr. Perkins and principals, have done a phenomenal job of pioneering this work and moving it forward. And I look forward to continuing this process in the spring and seeing what happens in Denton as a result of lesson study. Um, Texas Lesson Study is a form of job embedded professional development and it meets the ESSA definition of PD. And in 2017-2018, there were around 15 teachers in the fall that participated and around 16 teachers in the spring that participated. And over half of those teachers were back for a second round and a group at Hodge was led by an instructional coach. In 2018-2019, this school year, in the fall, we had 11 teachers, two for a third round, and uh, the group at Hodge was led by an instructional coach. Um, in the spring, we plan on having roughly 27 teachers. Um, I've been I've given been given confirmation on that. We have training next Wednesday on the 16th. A few are back for their second and third round, and one is back for a fourth round at Hodge and she will be leading a group there as well. Your campuses include within the Ryan Zone, Hodge Elementary, Myers Middle School, Stevens Elementary School, Pecan Creek Elementary, and Ryan High School. So it's with the, within the Ryan Zone. And I cannot tell you the vertical implications of what has been occurring with lesson study have been outstanding. Um, <clears throat> Stevens Elementary saw Myers middle school's lesson and some people from Myers came over to Stevens and I think it was it's important to note that Myers was very impressed with the, what the elementary was doing and actually ended up incorporating some of the things such as co-created success criteria which um, goes right along with Denton ISD's assessment for learning initiative and so they incorporated a lot of that into their lesson. So I'll talk a little bit more about that in just a sec. Um, so we will have around eight teams in the spring. Two to three are going to be led by an instructional coach or specialist, and the rest will be led by me as the service center facilitator. Um, I'm really excited about that. It's going to be a lot of um, potential for not just publication, but just spreading the word of lesson study and allowing teachers to be researchers in their fields, which is really exciting. I'm compiling um, some data for you that incorporates all the information I just discussed, teacher survey results, student survey results, and um, other statistics. So I'll send that to you when I'm complete. Um, just something for you to know that that might be important to um, think about. And I think it's pretty exciting information. Um, the state says that the cost for lesson study is about $5,000 per teacher, but currently it's free to districts. Um, plus, teachers receive a $500 stipend that could be individual or per team. It's dependent upon how many times that teachers have been in the lesson study process. And I, you know, for sustainability, I think it's important to note that you've got instructional coaches and leaders wanting to lead these groups. They're very excited to lead some of these groups in the spring, and they were doing that in the fall as well. And I feel like in working with teams this fall and teachers, there are teacher leaders that are emerging, whether they be an instructional coach or just someone who is passionate about their um, subject matter and their curriculum and about student learning outcomes and about being researchers. Um, this is graduate level work. The stipend is nice, but eventually the stipend probably won't be there. And so I think, you know, that relationship building piece that Tennille was able to develop last year and that I feel like I'm um, continuing to do and build this year ha has been vital and crucial in in targeting um, strong teacher leaders to move this process forward because I think it's an extremely valuable thing for teachers to go through. It is hard, hard work, but the benefits I feel have outweighed any type of negative um, idea towards it. <clears throat> 
Um, there were gains in STAR data in the 2017-2018 school year. Um, at Pecan Creek specifically on the TEKS that they chose, there was a 24% gain on a third grade TEK and a 16% gain on a fourth grade TEK. So that's just from prior to lesson study and um, after doing lesson study. So I'm curious to see how, what the results will be um, in the spring for the lesson study teams on their particular TEKS. Um, teachers invited key players to live lessons, people from the curriculum department, people from CoServe, people that really care about student learning and about teachers as educators and as professionals. They invited other principals, um, other area superintendents. Um, people showed up and people gave great feedback. I think the debrief process after a live lesson is probably the most valuable, not the most valuable part, but it, it, it's the culminating thing. It all comes together and the teachers see like the aha moments and why we did this and what we're getting out of this, that reflection, that deep, deep, deep reflection that they do not get time to do otherwise. Um, it is, lesson study intentionally builds in that reflection piece and allows them to revise lessons and make them great. And I just think what could be if they... Um, were able to do this on a regular basis with their hardest units of study. Um, and the vertical implications, again, I mentioned those, and I think that's important to note. Um, Myers used Lucy Calkins' units of study. Um, Stevens incorporated some units of study as well into their, and, the, and, and Jennifer Saravallo and things that are going on in Denton ISD right now as major players. Um, Stevens, Myers, and Hodge all use assessment for learning techniques. Um, they use co-created success criteria. That was something that Myers had not attempted before, at least the ELA 8th grade team. They had never attempted that before, and they, the kids gave phenomenal feedback on the use of co-created success criteria. And the team felt like the kids were more resilient in their learning, and they were more confident and more collaborative. So I think that it's it's very important to know that assessment for learning and units of study and anything that Denton has going on, um, those things are not competing priorities. Um, it just takes those initiatives deeper. And I think lesson study is the conduit for other initiatives to take root. Um, teachers are given the time to become researchers of their own practice. It is. They are elevating and growing teachers in their current position, and that leads to retention or then moving on at other leadership roles to help instructional practices and student learning outcomes as a result of that. You are building collective efficacy, Dr. Wilson, by allowing lesson study to take place in your district, and so I seriously thank you for that. Um, I just think the confidence levels of your teachers um, are, are increasing. Um, lastly, it's important to mention that the research theme is a part of lesson study, and this is something that teaches the whole child. It goes along with the standard, but there's research themes such as like building a culture of tolerance in a classroom um, through creative expression. Um, Hodge talked about taking students needing to take next steps in learning. And then Stevens talked about intrinsic motivation for authentic student ownership. And so the, the teams were really intentional about not only teaching the standards and measuring those, but also measuring um, learning outcomes through, through the emotional side of learning, through, through those needs. They were meeting those needs through this unit of study and this research lesson. And I really feel like they did such a good job of that. Um, how did we measure those? Well, they, they gave students surveys that asked them at the beginning of a unit, the middle of a unit, and the end of the unit. So I'll share those results with you. But 99% of students at both Stevens and Myers said that they're, they had gained confidence. They felt like they were more experts in their learning. And teachers also um, overall said that they felt that way as well. They felt more like experts. They understood their colleagues more. They were able to, they feel like they can continue this process um, 
pretty effortlessly. They want to research. They're hungry for knowledge, and that is exciting. So please let me know if you have any questions at all. I know this video was a little long, but I feel like it was important to note all of those things. It was easier than probably writing it all down an email, and I just really wanted to share those things with you and Dr. Perkins, and I cannot thank the both of you enough, um, and I look forward to this continued relationship and um, helping teachers grow through lesson study.